Hey guys over here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video will be a very short and a simple one. As you can see, it is about how we can embed the tweet within our Streamlit web application. So all I did out here is just paste one of the Streamlit tweets, the URL of the tweet, and we can see the Streamlit tweet out here. And along with that, we can play the attached video here. And also if we click into it, we directly go to the link of the tweet. So let's see how we can write down few lines of codes and by few lines, I mean maximum 15 lines of codes and we can build this very simple web application. Let's do that. So let's start with importing the modules we need. So we need Streamlit. So for that we import Streamlit as ST. And we need streamlit dot components dot v1 as components and we also need the package request okay that's all these are the three modules which we need so we write a function function the tweet so this function is mainly for the tweet which we going to attach to our app or the url of the tweet which we're going to put which you want to show in our web application so here we check url or basically tweet url and now we use the request package so we we use this api out here and let me show you how I got this uh, particular API. I will go to that page. So this is a Twitter's developers page. And here you can see in order to embed any particular tweet, uh, this is how we use it actually. This is a particular uh, URL which I also copied in the code. And the URL should be, as example, it's given out here. And then we can also have a lot of other parameters, but maybe for this video, I won't show all these parameters and the output comes in this format. The response of when we fetch the tweet, the, it comes as a JSON output. So let's try to implement this in our app. So for that, we will go back to our code. Okay, so we use this particular URL, then we leave a blank for this URL, which we will use using user input so now we try to get the response so for the response we write request dot get and we just put the api out here and then we fetch the result so the result come as response dot json so yeah we can actually check what are the results uh, within this uh, particular URL. For that we need to add few more streamlit syntax. So let me do that also. So we leave a input box. So for that streamlit, I think text input is good and enter here the URL of your tweet. And now if there is input, we run the mm, the function so we say res equal to ah here we need to return the res parameter so yes res mm, the tweet and we put input as its argument so that's all Let, let's try to see uh, what we uh, what we get from this uh, maybe we will just uh, display the result what we obtain so we just use streamlit.write and let me run this so for that i will just uh, open the terminal new terminal and let's do like the streamlit run embed twitter bye so it will run in my uh, local host and let's see how it looks like so here we can enter any tweet uh, so let me just copy this tweet URL and we paste it here and we hit enter. 
Okay, so we see a lot of uh, features of this tweet. So we see the URL as we input the author's name, which is Streamlit. Then we see the HTML block. So we will use this HTML block mainly to display and to embed that uh, tweet in our Streamlit app. But along with that, we see we see the other properties also out here. So cool. So let's try to embed the tweet now. So this is the main part of this video. So let's do that first. So we go back to the code again out here. And so here we just get the whole result. Instead of that, we will try to get to the HTML. So we just write it in this way. And this is now our output. So if, if I go back to the app and now we only see the HTML part. So what we will do is we will try to embed this part. For that, we will add few more additional lines. So how we do that, we say component. So basically, this is a part which we imported already. We say components dot HTML. And here we put the rest part. And, com and this adds uh, additional arguments also we can actually add. Uh, let me add the height and we put it at 700. I think that's enough and we can just comment this part or yeah or we can just keep it for time being and we'll comment it later. So we save this part and probably that's all I mean so it's just 18 lines of course if we just remove few parts is within 15 lines as I promised in the beginning of this video. So let's see how it looks now. So if I go back to the, so we already see our app is embedded. Our app has the embedded stream, the tweet. So it's, it's very simple, right? And let's just to make it much more um, prettier. I mean, I'll just come in this part. And yeah, here we have our app, which is ready to embed any of our tweets. So that's all, that's all, that's all for today's video and I hope you guys like this short video and uh, I, I have received a number of comments in my previous video, I'm trying to working on that and also make new videos based on it. So please leave your comments and your views and your uh, feedbacks, it will be really helpful for me to create more videos. Uh, I'll be making more videos on Julia or MATLAB, so stay in touch, thank you.